Hey guys, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker here. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you the new Odroid Go Advanced. It's got the R2 and the L2 buttons. It's also got the Wi-Fi chip built in, so you no longer need to have anything connected into the USB slot in order to use it. Um, aesthetically speaking, they look pretty much the same, except that there's the L2 and the R2 button, obviously, and you don't need this Wi-Fi dongle here. Those are the real changes, obviously. Um, besides that, there's not actually a whole lot to report. I mean, everything works exactly the same as it did on the predecessor, only you'll notice that uh, there's just two more buttons. That's pretty much it. They didn't actually remove any of the six F keys, which I like. They simply just added two more buttons as well. That's, that's a great feature, I thought. Um, it'll be uh, some time before you actually see a build for this new device, because I have to remake everything. Like, I know that you're watching me play right now, but, um, this is a very early development model of this. It's not, um, anywhere near finished. I literally just put this together today, so I haven't really had too much time to work on it. Just a couple hours so far. However, it does already have 70 systems. I was able to transfer a lot of stuff from the previous builds because it's the same hardware, it's just got some differences in the kernel and DTB files. So, like, literally everything that worked before works here. So that's good at least. Um, the buttons are pretty clicky. They don't feel, I mean, they're just tiny little pieces of plastic, but once it's all put together and inside, you don't, they don't feel cheap or anything, you know, there's some decent clickiness to them. I have no complaints about that. The black casing is also very nice. For those of you that don't know, you can go into drastic here, and you can go into change options, and you can change horizontal to tinkle. And when you do that, that's how you get a full screen for... You just press the F3 key to go back and forth between the two screens. Um, RetroArt is still working. It's got some bugs, but uh, I'll, I'll iron them out. Iron them out, I should say, before I do a release. But yeah, that's about it. Um, everything works exactly the same as it did previously. There's, I mean, I've added a couple emulators, but you guys will see those when the next build comes out. And um, the functionality has not changed. Everything remains exactly the same as it was previously. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I just really wanted to give you guys a, um, just a quick heads up, let you know that I've, I've got this device and I'm working on it. Also, the charging port has been switched to USB-C. That's a big upgrade, I think, from the predecessor. And, while I got you guys here, just because I'm in the mood, check it out. I'm also working on this. This here is Slash TV, my Android operating system, on the new Odroid C4 which I also just set up today. I'll do a, a much more in-depth video on this later, one that's not on my phone and using like the capture device once I put everything together and get it running and whatnot. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up this is coming as well. Anyways, as always, thank you.